Hey guys, welcome back, and looks like we've got some more stuff to do. I haven't quite got all the routes there. Or there. Uh, or there. Or there. For now, I want to do this one. The Relay Race and Mr. Quan. Did I read this one? Oh yeah, we read this one. And this one. Yeah, we've done all these. He was about to potentially join the Mafia. His clue was, should I have joined the gang instead? And his was, it being on the final leg. Let's start, shall we? And these two letters have some special restrictions. Special restrictions? Yes, remember I told you that white pieces could be moved anywhere? Except we're past the first last black pieces, of course. Yes, I do remember. And special restrictions in the place that will no longer be the case. We put I handed him and I caught it from, both on the left side, the former has happened after the latter. Because you can't hand the baton over, then have it back again. Furthermore, if we put the gun went off piece on the left side too, it has to happen before our match begins. So there's another sequence restriction those places. Pieces of smaller numbers cannot be placed after a piece of larger numbers. Since the aforementioned restrictions only apply to the left side, there's a straight vertical line in the middle of a red diamond. A number is marked on the left side of a line. Oh boy, I'm completely lost. <laughs> That's not at all. In addition to a sequence, there are special restrictions such as conflict. We'll deal with those as we see it. For now, you just remember need to remember a piece of special restrictions be labelled to a red side like this on the right side. Okay, so Hand, if I put down maybe it's going to hand something. I'm not going to be my last leg anymore because I'm going to be handing a bat onto somebody else. I'm going to press please, but I'm going to put my gun off over that side. So he's going to shoot someone. He's going to beg not to be in the first leg, but with that one leg. And then it's going to be in the middle leg. Let's try that, shall we? A dark red hole appeared on the forehead of the owner. Apparently he had only heard my threats, but not my whispers. No matter how hard I tried to signal him, the old man could not get my hints. Just wasn't about to give up, the gun went off by accident. There was blood everywhere. I ran out of a store, completely forgot about Mr. Kwan, and began to running back to the way we came from. Mr. Kwan never tried to catch me. A few people on the street gave me some strange looks. But must have thought I was a madman. I wasn't mad. I was guilty. I was guilty of killing someone. I had to confess. I must confess. Before sunset, I was sitting in a police station. But I had blisters on both my feet. Lord, I have to confess. Please do forgive me. I finally handed a battle off to the next leg. I had to take one more step, I was going to throw up blood from die right there. Our team was in second place, it was all, all up to Rocky now. Rocky soon finished the first 200 metres, but something didn't seem right. 
Honey doesn't look bad today. Let's go, Rocky, go. I'll buy your ice cream. Now that I've participated, I wanted us to win too. I couldn't help but start cheering Rocky on. Many of the people around me were cheering from too. I never knew that participating in this kind of event could actually feel like pretty great. Rocky suddenly sped up. He finally ran past class two, ten metres left, and crashed the finish line first. Well done! We're happily hugging and showing each other near the finish line. My stomach hurts a little. Can we do barbecue instead of ice cream? You're funny. I pushed Rocky aside and caught a glimpse of someone. It was my crush. She was looking at us. And she was smiling. Wow, well, I knew I could get this kind of reward just by participating in my meet. I felt so happy. I'm so happy. So you've now got a good ending. But... Try that again. So, let's try that instead. Two is in second place. In the end, not only did Rocky fail to pass class 2, he was eventually passed by class 4. Oh, that sucked. Yeah, being part of it felt great. Interesting, but please. It's important. There's a gun going. Ian was so frightened, he was shaking, he immediately took a few large bills out of the drawer and handed them to me. Apparently, he only had heard my threats, not my whispers. Looking up, I was a 60 year old man with an ailing wife at home, crying, begging me to spare his life. I could barely hold a treat to tears of myself. Mr. Kwan took my money from my hand with a satisfied look at his face. I was then admitted into a black dragon gang. A few days later, in the evening, I took a motorcycle from someone else in the crew and came back to the store. I stuffed all the money I'd borrowed from the past few days under a roof rolling door of the store. Sigh and thank you, Mr. Owner. So you know I get my guess. There we are, I can guess what I guess. So, gun went off, please. Yeah, the buying ice cream was the key thing of him winning. Yeah, we've got a new post. I actually got all possible options for him. Oh God, please help me. And Porque me pasan este tipo de cosas. the lives and group loyalty. Leewen has a new one, strange teacher. This one is a collected one. New character. You know what? Let's go with Lee Wen. I haven't seen her recently. The last class of the day was art. 
but she opened the door to a classroom and was shocked by what I saw. What was happening? The room it usually had a dozen people in was now almost full. It was like a scene from a beach in the middle of summer. There wouldn't be enough easels for everyone. Just when I was wondering whether or not I should even go study, I saw Jing wave at me from the front row. Why were so many people today? I sat down and seat Jing had saved for me. You don't know anything, do you? Miss Lu on is on maternity leave, so we have a new substitute today. Someone saw him earlier in the office and posted pictures on the school BBS. He's so handsome. I looked around and then only, only then did I realise that almost all the newcomers were girls. Why was Rocky here? What was a boy doing here? I took my phone out and tried to log into a BBS. I was half unknowingly made imagining what a new handsome teacher would look like. I was waiting for page to load. Well made pink shirt, rolled up sleeves, top button unbuttoned, pen and flawless skin, impeccable face on the side. <laughs> My first signal wasn't much strong at all, I couldn't look for a long time. The front door of the room was slowly pushed open. When everyone staring at him, the new teacher slowly walked across the room to a podium, and softly wrote down his name on a blackboard. Wen Xiaowen. I'll be teaching the art class we've seen this starting today. I looked at him up and down and noticed that this Mr. Wen was wearing flip flops to class. His ensemble has included a pair of casual pants with legs rolled up and a grey t shirt and a wrinkled jacket. Not just that, his chin suggested he hasn't shaved for days. I turned to my side and whispered to Jing, How is this old man handsome? It ignored me. I looked up and realised the teacher was staring right at me. Oh no, he must have overheard me. Suddenly Rocky raised his hand and asked loudly, Mr. Wen, how old are you? I have a girlfriend. The entire class erupted into a loud murmur. Everyone was staring at the teacher even more intensely. Thank you, Rocky, for getting me out of trouble. Mr. Wen slowly took off his jacket and laid on the back of a chair next to him. 35. The girls immediately began whispering to each other. This one certainly had intrigued everyone even more. Rocky, however, didn't seem to be satisfied with the answer. Mr. Wen ignored the commotion in the room and took a banana shaped statue out of the accessory cabinet. People were easily began to prepare their paper. Bronze out, dug out their sketching pads. The class was going to be over soon. Near the end of the class, Mr. Wen said he would like to pick an assistant for the class. Anyone who is interested can stand up and nominate him or herself. However, I will need to check his or her sketch. Jing stood up. How brave. Mr. Wen walked over and picked up a sketch. He shook his head and tore it into two halves. Rocky stood up. I stood up from my seat too. And then a bell rang. Jing was sobbing and I was completely in shock too. Not only did Mr. Wen tear up his sketch, he even said to her, Are you serious? Do you seriously just draw something like this? I will not tolerate this kind of thing in my class. We're just some regular high school students, we're not in an art school. Are you serious? Rocky jumped right up in front of a teacher. I tried to stop him, but it was too late. Rocky punched Mr. Wen in the face. Mr. Wen, however, didn't react, despite having just been hit by a student. He simply gave Rocky a glance and walked out of the room without saying a word. Rocky, who was always so self-righteous, the only thing more important to his life might be his ball games. But if a bell hadn't rung and the class hadn't been over, he wouldn't have bothered. After that, Mr. Wen never came back to the class. Maybe someone filed a complaint, or maybe, I always had a feeling he didn't look like he wanted to be a teacher. Next art teacher always dressed impeccably well. He was incredibly dull. Okay, so. Let's try this one. Bell's going to ring first. Should I stand up first? Mr. Wen tore up Rocky's sketch and said, Why don't you bring this to class next time so everyone can practice with it? Rocky's face suddenly turned into the brightest red I've ever seen. A minute ago, he'd been acting like the king of the world. What did he draw exactly? You, you, ah! He punched Mr. Wen right in his face. Since then, Mr. Wen never came back to a class.
Okay. How about the bell ringing first? Mr. Ben taught my sketch and even said to me, I would not tolerate this kind of thing in my class. Huh, you idiot. That bastard made a face at him. Okay, so at least I've now got rid of the... something and I was completely in shock too. Not only Mr. Wentel was sketch, he even said to her, are you serious? Boring. Rocky picked up his basketball from under his seat, Katie walked out of the classroom and disappeared into the after class crowd. Other people were leaving as well. Nobody ever mentioned picking up assistance ever again. I walked with Virginia on track and field, a dozen of jokes. That old man. No, he just tapped terribly. His temper was worse. How could a school hire such a person to be a teacher? That's Van K. Who's stand up next? Jing was sobbing. I was completely in shock too. Yeah, we know what he's going to say here. Seeing Jing cry like that, I couldn't control my anger. Mr. Wen, you're way out of line. You need to apologise to Jing. He gave me a glance and picked up my sketch. Boring. Rocky picked up his basketball from his seat and casually walked out of the classroom. Other people were leaving as well. Put my stuff in the backpack, get ready to leave. You, stay in the room. What? I stopped what I was doing and looked at Mr. Wenham with disbelief. He had my sketch back to me. After all, you're my assistant from this course now. I turned away and walked back to the front of the classroom. I realised that everyone who was still in the room was staring at me. Everyone looked like we were gawking like a circus monkey retreat. What the hell? I had no intention of being a freaking assistant of that guy. Jing put her arm around my shoulder. Congratulations. Maybe buy you dinner sometime, you poor kid. <laughs> Burst out laughing. Or well, whatever. Hey, you got an S bank. Let's quickly check our profiles on this end, see if we got any more updates. Yeah, we've got updates to these ones, so we got um Jaren Wen. 35 became the art teacher. Letters and see what is going to happen next. Until then, thanks for watching, have a wonderful day, and bye bye.